Now, let's get to proceedings. Proceeding this evening by giving out the first award. As a host myself, uh, I'm well aware that hosting is an art. Uh, juggling your guests, your audience, their expectations, your expectations of yourself. It's a lot. But the nominees for this category are consummate professionals. Not only, you know, keeping it together, but doing an incredible job at it. Check them out. The nominees for best overall host are Julia Louis-Dreyfus, Wiser Than Me. I mean, if you've ever seen any of those blooper reels that they have online from Veep or Seinfeld, my contribution is ruining scene after scene with hysterical laughter. Jonathan Goldstein, Heavyweight. But as a freshly minted bird journalist, I can't yet make the call. As Lori told me, individual Test macaws it. are nearly impossible Hello? for people to identify. Nicole Byer, why won't you date me? I don't have a partner right now, but I have <laughs> several meaningful friendships. Joe Budden, the Joe Budden Podcast. I hate this area, I hate where I'm at. I couldn't believe I got attacked by a stuff like a lame. The house smells crazy, I want all the kids up, get up. Lacey Mosley, scam goddess. I think looking for a life partner in Los Angeles is just like parking. You're not gonna just see an open spot. You gotta see somebody backing up and they be like, oh yeah, I'm pulling in right after them. Okay, all right, all right. And the winner of best overall host is Lacey Mosley with Scam Goddess. This ain't Texas, Ooh. ain't no holding. Hey. So lay cards down, 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 down. Uh, I, I can hold both okay. Charlotte, I think. Okay, first of all, y'all playing Texas Hold'em by Beyonce. Um, I am from Texas. <laughs> it's good to be back in Texas. And um, I just, I just want to say, first of all, first and foremost, I have to thank Jennifer Lopez. Um, <laughs> and Julie Louis Dreyfus, I love you. Um, but honestly, I know that sometimes podcasting seems like this silly medium where it's like anybody can buy a microphone and anyone can do what we do. But honestly, baby, it's not that. Um, comedy is a cure for loneliness. Podcasts have been a huge cure for loneliness for me and also for a lot of people. And I want to thank the congregation for listening to this podcast and keeping me on the planet when I was locked in my house by HBO because we were in a full pandemic shooting a Black Lady sketch show and other TV shows. And I was so lonely and I got to just talk to my favorite comedians all the time. And they made me laugh and I made them laugh and it was such a great time. Um, and then now I'm going to rattle off some names of people you may or may not know. So I'm going to do them very like Whitney Houston style. Um, so here we go. Um, Team Coco. Conan O'Brien. Um, thank you, Daddy. Um, uh, Colin, I love you so much. Um, thank you for letting me scam you into letting me do this show. And here we go, the rest of the names. Judith Cardwell, Judith. If you know, you know. Um, all of my engineers, Abby Aguilar, Sam Kiefer, uh, Richard Garcia. Um, I thank you so much. All of you are so fantastic, and you make this show what it is. And I didn't expect that I was actually going to get emotional. I I have one of these, but I don't have this one. And um, I thank you so much to all my peers and everyone who's come on the show, and I really appreciate it. So thank you. Congratulations, Lacey. Lacey, all right, Lacey, you got to do the walk. You got to do the walk, Lacey. Come on. Let me see you walk, 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 walk. Hold the award up. Hold the award up, Lacey. There you go. There you go. Hey. 